welcome to the Environmental Learning Center. My name is Becky Parkin, and I am here to talk to you about a really fabulous experiment that you can do at home. We're going to be looking at what's in some ink, and the process is called chromatography. So what we need is several different things in order to be able to compare and contrast what's happening with our pens. We've got three options here today. We have a permanent marker, which we know doesn't come off of things very well. We've got a scented marker, and this one smells like chocolate, and we're going to see what happens with this guy. And then we also have a marker that goes on the dry erase board. And what we have to think about is how can we separate out all these different inks? What could we do? So we're going to do this experiment. We've got three beakers here, and each beaker has a pencil with a piece of filter paper. So filter paper, when you think about it, that is the paper that you may use in a copy pot. Um, there's some really cool, super scientific filter paper, but you can do this just at home with this paper. Notice we've got a line on the bottom of each of our papers. We used a paper clip to keep that paper together, but you can use whatever you'd like. So we've got our marks on each one of our pieces of filter paper. And what we have to figure out is, what's in this ink? And so what we're going to use is some rubbing alcohol. Now chromatography means trying to separate out what's in a color. And so what I want you to imagine is each piece of this filter paper with this, this mark on it, we need to break it apart. And the alcohol is going to do that. Now each one of these has this color. And as our alcohol gets pulled up into that filter paper, what we're hoping is going to happen is that the ink slowly breaks apart. Remember, ink's made up of molecules, and it's all different sizes. And so as it moves up to this filter paper, we know, just like if you were trying to move through a lot of people, or you were trying to get through something called lattice, sometimes we use the word matrix, these are all really cool science words. The idea is you're trying to get through all of this tightly woven material. And if you are a small molecule, guess what? You're going to get right up through it and go to the top. If you're this giant molecule, you're going to get stuck and you're not going to be able to go any farther. So what we're going to do is experiment and see how these aches are going to travel up the filter paper. You may have a hypothesis already of which one you think is going to go farther. Think about that and we'll show you in just a second. 